do something for me. Something for everyone in this courtroom. I want you to apologize. I want you to say you're sorry and that you made a mistake. Your Honor, what's I, going do on it, here? Do it, Grace. You can't do that. Why? Why can't you do that, Grace? Because I don't believe I did anything wrong. Well, as your attorney, I'm advising you to do it anyway. To at least pretend that you're sorry and throw yourself on the mercy of the court. That would be a lie. So what? Everyone lies. Not everyone. Are, are you looking to become a martyr? What in the world is he doing? I have no idea. Oh. Not me. Then what is it that you want, Grace? Tell me. Tell us. I want... I want to be able to tell the truth. The truth? Whose truth? And what truth are you referring to? Grace, is there some truth that you know that no one else knows? Oh, that's right. The other night, didn't you tell me that Jesus spoke to you personally? Why are you doing this? I'm the one asking the questions, Miss Wesley. Did you or did you not tell me that Jesus spoke to you personally? Yes. And what did he say? I'll make it easier for you. Didn't you say that he asked you a question? That was personal. You weren't supposed to. I don't care. The other night, you told me that Jesus asked you something. What did he ask you, Grace? Tell all of us. I think we deserve to know. Why are you doing this to me? Answer the question. They won't believe me. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that you believe it. Tell us, Grace. Under penalty of perjury, what was the question that God presented to you personally that night on campus? Answer the question. Answer the question! He asked, who do you say that I am? And what did you answer? You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Well, there you have it. Your Honor, I, I think we've all heard quite enough. Ms. Emily. 